Introducing first, from San Francisco, California, weighing in at 242 pounds, main event, Jay Uso! Here comes Jay Uso, folks. I gotta say, he's looking better than ever, Cole. A guy who treats every match as if it's the biggest one of his career. He definitely plans to steal the show tonight. Yo, yo, what's good, peeps? I'm Chillax, or Jake, whatever you want to call me. I hope you all are feeling extra oozy after watching Jay Uso's 2023 entrance. Before we get into the tutorial, I just want to say if you're new here, go to online options and make sure crossplay is turned on so you know for a fact that you can download this Jay Uso with updated face texture, tattoos, and hair uploaded by What's the Status, who collabed with Joe Mashups and Game Bolt 1. This is already set as an alt attire, so all you have to do is search J23 Alt and download. For the Titantron images, search J23Tron and you should find 10 images uploaded that are numbered in the description from right to left, 1 through 10. If you can't find the images through J23Tron, try Yo Chillax or J Uso. Also, just a quick tip for anyone who's new, if you decide to download something else after downloading these images, it might cause the images to appear scattered when you go create the video. So I recommend creating your video as soon as you're finished downloading the images. Shout out to Crooked Alloy for creating this custom Jey Uso entrance video, absolutely talented individual who deserves every bit of praise. This video would not be possible if it wasn't for Crooked Alloy, so definitely go check him out, subscribe, and stay up to date with his latest custom WWE entrance videos. Now that we're in video, you'll want to click image animation, custom images, and you'll notice all images are in order from top to bottom. So for the first image, I'm going to move it to the left until it stops. And unfortunately, this will not work if you're on last gen consoles. So I'll tell you when I did this on PS4, I cut out a piece of paper and taped it to the middle of the canvas. And I just tried to line up the images as best I could. The goal here is to make sure the image touches the top and bottom of the canvas at the same time. Then press right on the d-pad 38 times and then set the time for whatever you want. I set mine for 40 milliseconds. Then the second image is pretty much the same process. Just move it to the right until it stops, stretch it until it's even with the top and bottom, and then press right on the d-pad 38 times. Then sometimes you may notice a white line going down the middle of the image. All you have to do is flip the images around like so and it will disappear. Now that you know how to place the images, you obviously don't have to download all 10, but if you did, once images 1 through 6 have been placed, I copied each one again like so until I have 14 images total on the timeline. Then on the last 4 Four images I set for 65 milliseconds and repeated until we hit our maximum 30 images on the timeline. And here's the final piece. If you have any questions, just let me know in the comments. Moving on to the entrance formula, you can just copy as you wish. We set the lights to lighting 35 with the other movie graphics to The Rock. And that pretty much wraps up our tutorial. I appreciate you tuning in and interacting. We're almost at 2 1,765 members of the Chillax Nation. If you're still listening to me at this point, you will know that tomorrow, my next video will be Jimmy Uso 2023 entrance, so look forward to that. Thank you all for the support. As always, stay cool, stay chillax. Peace. Yo, chillax.